say that the class of 2019 is a intellectual class. Like a nice, respectful group, um, easy to work with, easy to get along. I would have to say they're uh, acting beyond their years. I think they're uh, a young adults that are uh, grooming fast, and hopefully all in a good direction. I'm going to miss the class of 2019. Their freshman year was my first year here at Croton, so I feel like we are now kind of seniors together. So overall, I thought you were a pretty good group. You're a pretty good class this year. You have a good sense of humor, but at the same time, I think you know when is the right time to be serious and get your work done. You can get pretty far just being nice, respectful, get along easy. I'd say that would be my first thoughts and biggest compliment to them. A few procrastinators in your class, but for the most part, compared to other classes in the past, you're pretty good about meeting deadlines. I think they're a group of students that are really hard working, really determined, and even when they were freshmen, always kind of had a sense of like the direction they were heading. Remember the bathroom. <laughs> My classmates. I think I will always remember that day that he played bells through his phone on the loud. Oh my god, yes, me oh. too. He was so happy about it, so he would play it an extra few times. Yeah. I will always remember playing high school lacrosse. I guess like winning winning the BSN bowl. That was that was pretty dope. You know, one last hurrah with the boys. That game against Briar Club. I actually will. Like for real. Like, that's like the most honest answer I'm giving. I think I'll always remember my juice project in painting a mural because it's such a permanent, you know, thing. I'll always remember all the shows we did, yeah, for our kids. I'll always remember the chick show. I'll always remember playing sports in high school. I played two different sports, it was really different. Miss Arduino. <laughs> 
I'll always remember the feeling of everyone knowing everyone and being so comfortable around the same people for 12 years that you could just sit down at any table in any room and just start strike up a conversation with anyone. And that's not weird, it's just totally like comfortable. And I feel like that's like really special and unique to our school. I think I remember G days. Oh my god. And H days, they were the best. I would come in so late. I will always remember the rotunda. How popular I was and like, you know, what I was to people and stuff, you know. <laughs> I will always remember Glenn. Shouts out to Glenn. Nicest man alive. Love you, Glenn. Don't forget me. I mean, you can't. I'm gonna be on TV. I will always remember the good teachers. I will always remember Maria Toledo. I'll always remember Nat Camille. Student to dress as cool and, you know, hearing and making a big impact on people and awesome, I guess. <laughs> My friends. Yeah. I'm gonna look back and it's gonna be crazy. What I'll miss the most about CHHS is probably Croton itself and the town around it because our town's a really good town for a school to be in. I'm going to miss all my friends and just seeing everybody every day and knowing people in the hallways because college is going to be really different. Brian's rock Brian's hard ass. ass. <laughs> probably the boys, honestly. Yeah. Not, not specifically, not, Joe not Dimes. Joey Dimes. I don't know, just all the people, you know. I like the small environment. Like, you get, you, you can know everybody. There's a lot of eccentric characters. I really like, you know, not like knowing everybody the way we do here. Mm -hmm. It, it's probably can't be recreated in the same way ever again. Definitely all the friends I've made because I just had the best time with them, and because they've accepted who I am. Michael Malone. <laughs> I'll, miss, I'll miss the relationships with the teachers <laughs> and all the administrators that we've known over the years. What I will miss most about this school is the togetherness and the camaraderie of this school. Like, I'll miss all my friends and I guess just like the familiarity of everything. Kind of like having a routine every day. Such a small school that you almost know everyone here, right? And it's kind of like everyone is a part of my family. And that's kind of how I think of it, so yeah. I'd say the teachers and like classmates and peers and friends. I think I'll definitely miss like walking through halls and just like seeing faces that I know. Absolutely nothing. I can't wait to leave. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Love y'all. <laughs> Probably my freeze. I like their bacon egg and cheeses from the cafeteria. Even though they're not even that nice, I'm just lazy to go to town sometimes. I'm going to miss the people the most from this school, and the teachers. They're nice. Miss Ardolino. My friends. What friends? I'm going to miss like getting Snapples at lunch and reading the facts, like um, George Lopez, George, 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 longest running sitcom ever. Yeah. Uh, that's a crazy fact. There's not like one thing, it's just like the everyday, like coming in, seeing like everyone. Which sounds dramatic, but it's true, like it's weird, you like you know you're not going to run into any of your friends anymore. So yeah. that's kind of weird. Though. I'm really going to miss the acoustics in the bathroom. In the first floor bathroom. I think I'm going to miss like the kids from like my grade and all my friends from my grade, but also like the lower grade. I feel like I got closer with them as well because of, I'm a younger sister, but also like I kind of like did a bunch of sports and did different things with kids in the younger grades. Um, and I'm going to miss not like seeing them all the time. Probably the teachers. Yeah. Probably. The students. I'm gonna miss Chin's uh, expression of pure disgust when he sees me or anyone else in the school. I'm never gonna feel that hated again in my life, and I, it's, I'm gonna miss it. I knew my rent was gonna be late about a week ago. I worked my ass, but I still can't pay it though. But I got just enough to get off in this club Have me a good time before my time is up Hey, let's get it now
drop, drop, drop it like it's hot. Dirty talk, dirty man. She a freaky girl, and I'm a freaky man. She on the rebound, broke up with an ex, and I'm like Rodman, ready on deck. I told her I wanna ride out, and she said yes. We didn't go. Ruby. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> One word. Lame. <laughs> Opinionated. It's like everyone has different opinions and no one agrees. No one agrees on it. Yeah, I'm gonna agree with Sarah. Opinion aside. Opinion back here on you. We are. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say unique. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I feel like interesting is a good one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess I would use the word well rounded. Cool. <laughs> 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 She's really quirky. Swaggy. We're all so quirky and random. 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 Disappointing. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's my good word for the day. Weird. Boring. <laughs> <laughs> I would say we are very close, but it's not very clicky. There's a lot of uh, togetherness in our grade. Well behaved. I'd also say smart. Smart. But like, even if not book smart, like, people, we have some, like, really interestingly, like, people smart and, like, street smart. Like, there are some people who I, like, I'm sure are, like, qualified geniuses in this grade. And then also people who just, like, I would trust with, like, an important question that I have. John Lewinhagen has been fixing iPhones since sixth grade. Seriously? Yes. I didn't know that. He's awesome. Like, I'm gonna say austere. Very chill. That was two. Sorry. <laughs> Calm. Just chill. 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 Yeah. Earnest. Oh, elaborate on that one. I feel like our grade, like everyone's very like true to themselves and true to like who they are and like isn't really like that worried about like, I don't know, fitting in with the rest of high school. And like we don't generally take ourselves too seriously and that's an important thing. Uh yeah, I picked the same word. <laughs> Do you guys remember the Pan Am game? <laughs> oh my god. Yes. So oh much fun. My god, right? soccer. Yo, yes. We were on the same team. For Pan Am, I remember stupid. like <laughs> Luke and Cal both were on crutches because they were both like injured. Yeah. So they were like the captains of the teams in our class, and there was Jamaica, and Luke was the captain of Jamaica, and Cal was the captain of Argentina. It was like and a Argentina rivalry. ended up, it was like a big rivalry in our class. Yeah. One time I pulled out my pants by accident. <laughs> <laughs> One time I went to the boys' bathroom without realizing, and then um, it was Daniel that cursed oh, me God. to get out. He looked at me and saw the bad word. He's like, get out! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> One of my favorite memories is that last year's junior prom, I ripped my pants because I was dancing too hard. One of the, the first day of school, we're in chat. Aiden asked to borrow a goddamn pencil. Yep. A b goddamn pencil on the first day. It was first a pen. Day. It was a pen. I was like, okay, so I needed a pen. And then and I'm like, I, I, I turned back to Brian. I'm like, yo, yeah, borrow a pen? We've been friends since kindergarten. And yeah. he's like, See, you serious? And like, we're writing We're writing our letters. We're writing he our said, letters. He said, you know what? I'm, and I'm gonna remember this. I'm and gonna then, remember this. And when we open these letters, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Yeah, That's what he said. No, I wrote, I wrote in my freshman letter, I was like, you gotta remember when Aiden asked for that pencil, the first day, or pen, whatever it was, and you're gonna hit him in the face. And then, then I wrote that I have to remember the duck, the duck. Brian. Yes. <laughs> this is what friendship is. Yes. Wreck trips, okay, every Friday. Uh, going to sports sport time, 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 going to the ice, ice skating. skating. Yeah, that's when so much stuff would go down. When I met him in ninth grade and I go to dab him up, we just... Weirdest, that was bad moment.
theater, the theater elective, the acting one especially, in my sophomore year, uh, it was a very fun class and it did teach me, I, I still have the notes from that class that I look at before certain auditions. Mr. Merriam was a very good teacher of acting and he really helped me hone my skills in like memorization, but on top of that like how to relate with other actors on stage, how to portray a character that might be difficult for you to portray. He always challenged me and it was just also a really fun class with really fun people. Either that or chorus, because chorus I did all four years. It's just a fun place where you can go and sing and it's not a high stress class, so it's, it's very fun. I like photography. I really liked VP for a while. I feel like this was a class that we got to like kind of do our own thing in, which was fun. Yeah. A lot of smart kids, definitely, for sure. A lot of nice people. A lot of kids who are just, you know, good kids. A lot of outgoing kids. Some kids are shy too, though. Um, class of 2019, I think we've been the goody two-shoes this whole time. I always remember thinking, I was like, well, at least we're not the seniors. Because I always just remember hearing that they're doing crazy things and we've kept it pretty cool. We've done a couple of things, but nothing too wild. We definitely have a very well-rounded group of students, I think, more than I've seen in years past. Not just academically, but socially, the involvement is extraordinary. Miss Wellman or Mr. Strini, they both kind of made me want to become a teacher. My favorite teacher, Miss Baina. Oh yeah, or Miss Baina. I Ms. love Miss Baina. I love Miss Baina. Yeah, my. For me, I'd have to say Miss Baina. She's like such a great person. She's someone that I was like able to go to for like personal things, for life, and like school too, which is great to have someone like that. Probably Miss Wellman from eighth grade social studies. Yeah, she convinced me to memorize how to spell and the location of every country in the world, and I did it just to impress her. Um, but I never forgot it, so it was, it was nice, yeah. Uh, there are three teachers I want to shout out. I'll never forget you guys. First, Miss Fontana, because she kicked off my fashion, like, interests and all that. Then Miss Glass. Love you, Miss Glass. Um, and Miss Ardolino, because, yo, you know what? She really out here doing it for the gang, yo. <laughs> bless you, bless you, just God bless you. Miss Ardolino. Miss Baina. Why? Um, she, Is uh, Ardie great? Miss Baina's a very good teacher, and she's my neighbor. I liked and respected all my teachers equally, and they both had an equal impact on me. Ardolino. 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 Missy. Missy. Oh, Miss Olivia. I like Ardolino. Or Mr. Dia. Yeah. One of those. Those are my homies. Whoa. Miss Dylan. Mr. Strini. And Miss O'Brien. Mr. Stevens, he's really like nice. You know, like at first, like when I first came, you know, I was just like, oh, you know, everyone's like, Miss Stevens is like really cool, and I'm like, okay, I'm sure he probably is, but like, we're, maybe not. <laughs> then you know, I took uh, photography, and I was like, yeah, no, he's actually really, really nice. He's like that teacher that you can talk to about anything, and it's like he's perfectly open to it, and he's fine. He doesn't feel like awkward or anything. So, you know, some teachers like, oh, I don't want to talk about my yeah. personal life. Yeah, but he's one that will. I think that a strong sense of community is really important because having such a small district and small grades and everyone kind of knowing everyone's business is like annoying, but it's also like it brings like a strong sense of community. One thing I learned at the Chrome schools is to respect others, yeah. Just how to work hard. I, I learned that I really value small communities. I think they're there are a lot of really like great things just about just having like small groups of people. Croton definitely exposed me to, to that realization. That you can do it, you can pretty much do anything you put your mind to. Something that CTHS taught me is to be more open and accepting towards others. And the five uh, phylums of invertebrates, um, mm. molluscus, um, platys, um, <laughs> echinoderms, uh, nidarians, arthropods. Shout out Miss Rooney. Oh yeah. Um, friendships and how to um, be up more outgoing. Like I know for starters, I'm a very shy person, so I would never be able to like go up to somebody. And now I can definitely do that. I would say I could say me as Miles. Small communities and like knowing people, 
like doing things in your community that like matter. Those are like all experiences that I've had here that I don't think I would have had if I was like at a bigger school. Do you remember the what? T song? Yes. Ready, Ready when we see C T. What we see when we see, see, see her name. We see a family that's strong. <laughs> yeah, I think I learned that like having like a, a bunch of close friends that will support you through anything is like more important than doing well in school or you know being in extracurriculars getting into a good college. Like it's more about the people that are around you. Yeah, because you can do anything if you have the right support system. I wish somebody would have told me that. One of my name and a star. Now look at where we at. Still growing up. Still growing up. I would lay in my bed and dream about what I've become. Couldn't wait to get older. Couldn't wait to be some. Now that I'm here, wishing I was still young. Those good old days. I wish somebody would have told me, babe. It's something things would be the good old days. I didn't think I had the answers Wish I made it to homecoming Got up the courage to ask her Wish I would have gotten out of my show Wish I wouldn't have worried about What other people thought And felt comfortable with myself Rooftop open And the stars above Moment frozen sneaking out And falling in love Me, you and I full time We just begun On the grass dreaming Figuring out who I was My favorite part of senior year was probably the picnic or senior skip day because that we had everybody who um, came and we were all just hanging out and chilling and I didn't I was hanging out with people I didn't even know like I talked to or anything so yeah <laughs> not going to school like being in shoes my favorite part is also just like being like like with seniors. everyone and like being with everyone but like yeah. being the oldest is so nice because we all just kind of vibe our own way we don't really care anymore it's just like we could all be yeah. chilled together. Graduation. It hasn't happened yet, but I just can't wait. Knowing that I'm leaving. Just chilling with my just gals. Just chilling, yeah. Really like being excited for college and preparing yourself for college. And I think going through that process of like being scared at first and not really knowing to like now in which you like know where you're going and what you're going to do after high school. I feel like that's the best part of like, senior year. Winning the tournament MVP at the basketball tournament my varsity team competed in. I guess just like hanging out with everyone, knowing that like this is kind of like the last year that like we're all gonna be together. So it, like it just kind of makes it more special, I guess, because it's not gonna be like, oh, this can happen next year. It's that's it. Senioritis is when you believe that you're done with school and don't want to do any of the work anymore. So you just decide not to do it and not really care about the grade you're going to get. That's a, I can describe that well. It's like you wake up and you know that everything that you're about to do is pointless. So why even try? So you just show up and just waste your time until, until it's time to go. It's like a fungus. First it starts off small and then it spreads until it's covered every crevice of your body to the point where you wake up in the morning after you set an alarm and you're like, do I really need to go to school? And it's September 1st. <laughs> <laughs> Taking an hour to film like seven questions. Walking into the school and getting the same feeling that you do when you walk into the middle school or elementary school and you're just like, I'm too old for this. Getting ready to get the frick out of here, out oh. of Crowin, saying shabai to your teachers. You're you stop caring. <laughs> you have no energy to do anything. You just don't care anymore.
people say senioritis like it's a disease, but really I think it's a blessing. Like throughout <laughs> high school, you're you're so worried about like, oh my God, like I gotta do well my SAT, I gotta get good grades, I gotta get into a good school. But like really, once you're a senior, you realize that like none of that even matters, and really you should just enjoy yourself. Yes. And that's why I think senioritis is. To never give up on your dreams. Go outside more. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, yeah. yeah. Nobody does it enough. I don't do it enough. I would just say you should always work hard and keep your dreams alive. Definitely um, challenge yourself because you're going to have to do that throughout your lifetime. We should all try weird clubs. I just feel like all of that, like I just think I found like weird niches that I would have never known like would have been like it for me. Like we should all just like join like weird stuff. <laughs> this year Rory was like, Miles, do the musical and I was like, maybe and then I did it. And That's it was great. so fun. I guess keep being yourself. Don't go with the flow with stuff. Cause I feel like if you kinda just like are constantly waiting for something to happen, it's not gonna happen. I think you should just let things be how they are. So. Keep working hard and keep your friendships forever too. Uh, don't be dumb. I would urge them to strive for greatness in every aspect of life and to not let anything cloud your vision towards a better future. Never be afraid to speak your mind no matter the consequences if you believe it's the right thing to do. Be creative because your creativity is the powerhouse of your success. It's been a everything you do, put all your heart in everything you do. Because you know in life you can have more money, you can have less money, but you have to be convinced that everything you do, you do it for a reason. Really make sure you work hard for your successes. It doesn't always come easy, but if you keep with it, then uh, you'll reach your goals. Finish college. Work hard. Keep your mind open. Give your best. My advice to the class of 2019 would be to stay curious about the world around you when you leave Croton. I think there's a sense as a senior that you got everything figured out by the time you leave your high school, uh, but you're just entering a much, much bigger pond. I guess the biggest piece of advice I'd say is take advantage of your opportunities. You might not know how stuff is going to turn out. Something that seems small, insignificant, minute, but if an opportunity comes your way, take it. And you never know where it's going to lead. To uh, follow their dreams, because at your age, um, you have some really great aspirations, and sometimes life gets in the way, and you're not able to really do the things you want to do. And so you have four years ahead of you. That's the time to really focus on what you want to do and go in knowing that uh, the statistics show that people change careers multiple times. So don't ever feel that you're locked into something. If uh, you start something and decide it's not for you, don't be afraid to, to change that. What will you guys be doing after high school? College! College. Tufts University. Coastal Carolina University. I'll be going to Yale. MIT. I'm going to RPI. University of Buffalo. I'm going to SUNY Canton. I'm going to go to Nazareth College. I'm going to see Boulder and Colorado. I will be going to Mount Holyoke College in the fall. Attending SUNY Albany. I'm going to SUNY Oswego. I'll be going to Lamar College in Vermont. I'm going to Worcester Polytechnic Institute. I'm going to WCC. I'll be attending college at SUNY Blacksburg in the fall. I'll be going to Worcester State University. I'm planning on going to WCC for two years. I'm going to the University of Wisconsin. I'll be attending SUNY Geneseo in the fall. And I will be attending Penn State University this fall. I'm going to be attending St. John's University in Queens. I'm going to Wesleyan University next year. I'm going to UC Santa Barbara. I'm going to Colorado College. I will be attending Syracuse University. Next year I'll be attending the University at Albany. I am attending Chapman University. I'm going to Penn State. I'm attending the University of South Florida. I'll be attending St. John's University. I'm attending Virginia Tech next year. I'm attending the George Washington University next year. I'm going to SUNY Cortland. I'm going to SUNY New Paltz. You don't need to know. You'll find out eventually.